my daughter has made my depression way more creative. Because <laughs> before my daughter, my depression was just like, mm. hey, we're, uh, you know, everything you do is going to end in annihilation and uh, entropy, so what's the point? I'm like, shit, you're right, you win again, depression. <laughs> but now I got this little nugget of endorphins. I'm like, I don't give a shit. Who cares? She's cool. My depression's like, shit find another way. So my depression has really learned to pick its spots. The last time it got me, it was pretty clever, I'll give it credit. It was a Tuesday, like 11 in the morning, and I went to a grocery store near my house. So just get that visual in your head. It's a grocery store, 11 a.m. on a weekday, so there's like six other people in it. It's basically empty. I just went in there like, I'll walk around and see if I need anything. Which if you think about it, is a very debauched Roman emperor way to go shopping. <laughs> where you're like, I'll just walk up, line all of your goods on parallel shelves. <laughs> I should walk by and review them and see if anything catches my fancy. <laughs> Work harder for my attention, hard pretzels, if you want to ride in my chariot. I end up in the frozen food aisle, and I'm looking at a shelf of lean cuisines. So get that visual in your head. It's a, it's, it's a wall, of, it's like the white box with a little orange corner. Well, it's the orange corner if you're getting the cafe classics. And it's the <laughs> green corner if you're buying the spa favorites. There's a lean cuisine to fit every lifestyle, am I right, people? It's a pretty fantastic product when you think about it. I'm getting 25,000 for this setup, so if you could just <laughs> bear with me. All right, so, um, again, I don't know if I wanna, I'm just looking at them. Uh, Thai noodles and peanut sauce, okay. Pasta primavera, meh. And as I'm looking at all of them, Toto's Africa started playing <laughs> on the ambient music. I don't know what it, it was, the combination of 11 a.m. on a Tuesday, Lean Cuisines, Toto's Africa, I have never felt more peacefully, effortlessly, joyously suicidal <laughs> in, it wasn't, it wasn't even despair or, if I'd had a gun right here, I would have just brought it up one smooth movement, just like going, oh, they have French crust pizza, do, 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 do. If someone had been at the end of the aisle and seen that, then the cops are like, what happened here? I was like, I don't know. He was looking at these lean cuisines and then uh, Toto's Africa and the cops are like, oh yeah, he killed himself. He's fine, yeah, he <laughs> committed suicide. We know, he's good, yeah. No, he died happy. Just throw him on the loading dock. He's okay. <laughs> what, check for a note? No, this is the note. <laughs> this is all this, the frozen food and the, yeah. He's fine, trust me. Then something even sadder happened. I saw a lean cuisine I wanted. You should never stand in front of a wall of lean cuisines and have this thought. Ooh, that's, ooh. that's not good. But there it was, Mezzaluna mushroom ravioli, I want it! Take it off the shelf. I'm looking at the, the heating instructions on the back. Remove tray from carton. Cut a slit in the plastic to vent. <laughs> Place it in the microwave for two and a half minutes. Remove. Peel back the plastic. Spoon the sauce over the ravioli to coat. Replace the plastic. Put it back in for two and a half. When I saw I put it back in, I was like, no! Ah, 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 come on! What am I, Amaral? I just want to eat! Ah. 
Then I spent what must have been six minutes of my life looking at the backs of other lean cuisines <laughs> until I found one glazed chicken over rice, which I did not want. But the instructions were, remove tray from box, don't even cut a slit. <laughs> this is 2013. <laughs> Put it in the microwave for five minutes. That's it. Like, there's my dinner. I'm gonna, that's what I'm having for dinner, is lack of effort. That is what I'm gonna eat. <laughs> A big steaming plate of lack of effort. So that evolutionary track is done. If we started off as a species, hunting food, trapping it, killing it, rendering it, cooking it, eating it, then that track, is, if that led to me taking a tray out of a box, putting it in a bigger box, and hitting a single number, and then going, I'm gonna have glazed chicken and rice. It's gonna come out and taste so, oh, so nice. I'm gonna put it on a plate, maybe eat it twice when I have my ding, yay! Like, okay, we're done. We are done. That's right. Welcome to the finish line, humanity.